Hi there, my front end friends. Have you ever had a link or links on your site? Of course you have, but have you ever tried to style them by you know, having a text decoration of none and then coming in with a border so you can have a different color on there? Or maybe you've even gone to the more extreme scenario of creating a pseudo element instead so you could easily control like the, the spacing or how far away your line is. If you've ever done anything like that or you've just wondered how you could have more control on your underlines, well, you don't need to do any of this, you don't even need to turn off that text decoration. You have full control over them and you can do some really awesome stuff with it. So let's dive in and, and see what we can do by first going back to the defaults and starting right here. So the first thing that a lot of people do not realize is we have just, I mean, first of all, we have tons of controls, <laughs> what we can do here, uh, but we actually have a text decoration. Uh, when we do this, it's a shorthand and we have control over a whole bunch of stuff like the thickness. And so you probably didn't know that, but yes, we can. And let's say it's, I don't know, uh, one rem to make it super huge, um, right? Or, or even one M, so it's like matching the size of my text, which do not do that, but look, I can do it. Uh, so you can just say how thick you want your, your text to be, and it's, it's gonna be that thick, <laughs> or not your text, but your underline. Uh, so maybe you want, I don't know, let's just do 10 pixels for now, uh, or 12, I don't know, throw a number on there, you can control the thickness. And maybe you want it to be a different color because you don't like the, the look of the color. Well, yeah, you can do that too, text decoration. This is gonna get a little bit repetitive, but you just do color at the end. Uh, and let's just say white, so we have a white one, or I had lime before, it looks a little funky, but that's okay, we're, we're exaggerating for this demo, and look at that, we have that right there. And a cool thing with the text decoration color is out of all of these, this is the one that is an animatable property, which means if I have a hover and a focus state that changes the color of my text and I want my text decoration to also change, that animation can animate. And it's not, I guess, super obvious. Let's make this red and we'll make it a little bit longer just for the fun of it. So you can definitely see that's actually animating there. Uh, so yeah, an option there if you want. I think that looks kind of terrible at the moment though. So I'm going to remove that uh, and remove this and we'll just stick with the defaults that we have um, and focus on these. Another thing you can do, this one you probably wanna do a little bit less often and we'll speed things up with a copy and paste, but you actually have some options for your styles here as well. So the default here is solid. If I do that, nothing changes, but if you want, you can actually come in uh, with a few different ones. We have a double if you want two lines. This one I find looks a little bit better if you have smaller things for whatever reason, like that split between is really small, but it is what it is. Uh, you can also do dotted uh, and get some dots as an underline instead. We have dashed if you like dash, uh, and there's also the classic uh, wavy for some wavy lines along the way there. Uh, and you know, some of them look better than others, but uh, there we go, we, we do have them. Of course, there is the skip ink, which is on right now. So that is another thing. And I'm just gonna come inside my link here just to add some random J. Um, just to show you that because of the skip ink, you do get these types of things happening. So the text decoration skip ink on all the modern browsers now, the auto is going to skip. So you can see it's skipping there. Uh, in general, this is considered best practice because if we have a solid here, it makes it a lot easier to read your text. So that's why it became the standard. But if ever you have something like wavy and you do wanna remove it for whatever reason, you can turn that off. But even now you can see that because of the color combination going on, uh, the J is is quite hard to read. Uh, so it is, it is better, there is an all here as well. Uh, in general, with Latin characters, the all and the auto will work exactly the same way. The all is more if you're using um, different languages like Chinese, Japanese, or Korean that have uh, different types of glyphs. Uh, where you might not be getting certain things breaking. So in those situations, you can use the all. I am gonna turn this one off though, because in general, I would just say, leave that one um, as is. I'm gonna put this back to solid though, because I don't particularly like the wavy one. Now we do have one more here, which is text decoration line. And line is interesting, because right now our text decoration is an underline. But if I wanted to, I can actually make that an overline. So it goes up top. I can also do a line through, which is like your strike through, and it goes through your text um, as you'd expect. And technically speaking, there is uh, a blink, uh, but you can see it just completely removed it. New browsers will just prevent that from happening, just like our old, um, our old blink element that we used to have. Now, an interesting thing with this one though, is we can do an underline and an overline if you want. Um, so if you, you want two lines on there for whatever reason, or you could even come in here and do three lines if you, you really wanted to. Uh, you can set as many text decoration lines uh, as you might need. Uh, if you're doing links, I'm guessing you're not gonna bother with other ones, you'd probably leave it uh, as something like that. 
but that's all an option. And one thing you might have noticed is I did say this is actually all a shorthand or the text decoration itself is actually a shorthand. And it is because I could say that, uh, let's just hit save here. So it goes back to normal. And I'm going to say it's 12 pixels. Uh, let's do a, uh, let's do something different. So we'll just say wavy, uh, we'll do an overline and we're going to make it be, uh, let's just say orange red for the color. So it's a little bit different and you can see that worked. And like any good shorthand, the order here doesn't matter. So I could put this first and I could have 12 pixels at the end and I could move my wavy over here. And as long as they're all there, then it works. Or, you know, I could switch this to an underline and it's going to go under. Uh, and so on and so forth. Now, some of these are default values. So let me just move this out of the way a little bit. Uh, but if I take off the 12 pixels here, you can see it just goes to the default size. Uh, same if I take off wavy, it goes just to the, the, the regular one. Um, but if I only have an orange red, then obviously it just breaks the whole thing. And I think the one that you at minimum have to declare is the line. So is it, um, so I could say underline and then it's going to work. But if you do use the shorthand here, just make sure, um, you know, usually this is where we throw a none. So it will default to none if you declare other stuff in here for the line. So if you still want to use the shorthand, you do have to declare the line that you're going to be using. And just really quickly before we get to the last one, which might be my favorite one that we're going to look at uh, for the best control anyway, but before we get to it, just really fast, if you like these types of CSS tricks and tips and other things, which is basically everything that I do here at my channel, and you don't want to miss out on anything I do, and you'd like to know other resources and other awesome CSS stuff and all of that, I do have a weekly Sunday newsletter that I send out where I also talk about just friendly end development, general musings and other stuff. And it's extra content. Anyway, if that sounds good to you, there is a link down below to the newsletter. I know not everyone wants more emails in their inbox, but if you don't mind one extra one every Sunday, that's just full of CSS goodness, you might be interested in subscribing to it. So yeah, the link is down there if you are interested, but if that's not what you're after and you want to know what this next property is, well, that's fine too, because we're going to keep on going right now. Now there is something though. The last thing we're going to look at here is um, we're going to turn off the shorthand just because it's easier to read this in demo world where I can shrink this down and have everything visible in one screen. But there is one thing that is not part of the shorthand that is maybe the one that you want the most, uh, which is a little bit weird. And there's a reason why it's not part of the shorthand. And that's because it's not a text decoration property, but it's a text underline property and it's text underline offset. And let's just make a really big one here, one rem, and you can see it's moved down. I guess I always said, I said rem, just like at the beginning, I wanted M to really move it down a lot. It moves a lot because one M is matching the font size and it's a big font size. Um, so yeah, you can, you know, move your, move your line around using this, uh, which is something a lot of people like. And you'll notice, even though by default, uh, if I put this to zero, we have the skip ink that's coming on and it's skipping anywhere it's touching it. So all the round characters, it happens to be touching because obviously there was a default offset here. Um, but if it's touching any characters, it's going to skip the ink. If it's not touching them, it's not going to make that, that break. <laughs> and I didn't mean to push it down that far. Um, but it only will skip the ink if it's touching the characters, which is super useful. But yeah, text underline offset, which is one I never remember and have to look up every time I want to use it. Cause it's weird. Cause we have the decoration style decoration line. Uh, but there's a specific reason that it's text underline offset is you can only control your underline with it. You cannot control the line through or the overline. Those ones are where they are. So if I were to switch this to an overline and I wanted to move it, it doesn't move. If I want to change this to an overline, that doesn't exist. Uh, again, I don't know why you overline. It's not something we see very often anyway. So, um, but yeah, there we go. Your underline text underline offset. You can control the thickness of it. You can control the color of it. It's all wonderful. And it makes our life so much easier than using a pseudo element or border or something weird. And it's just going to work all the time. But other than internet Explorer, it's supported in all the major browsers and it's supported quite far back. So basically everyone's going to be getting whatever you style here. And that's how you get the full control over your links that maybe you didn't even know you wanted, but now you know you can, so you'll probably use it at least from time to time. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you're newer to CSS, I've done a video that looks at a lot of the essential properties and values for just styling text in general, because there's a lot of stuff there and some of it's more important than others. 
So I did sort of an overview of the stuff you really need to know. Or if you're a little bit more advanced, you need like little tips and tricks and other things that are definitely more advanced. I recently did a look at a video that's taking a look at an alternative to the common sort of container or wrapper classes that sort of dives into a bit of a rabbit hole that I fell down that was a lot of fun. And both of those videos are right here for your viewing pleasure. And with that, I would like to thank my enablers of awesome, Andrew, Simon, Tim, and Johnny, as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.